Welcome back to the flashback, where we step back in time and relive the nostalgia of the past. It's good to be back. Last week, we covered the top 10 cartoons of our childhood. If you missed out, the winner for that episode was... Tom and Jerry. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I still think Scooby-Doo is better, but I know for sure that this week's top pick is gonna take it home. What are we gonna talk about this week, Pui? In celebration of the birth of Adobe Flash Player, we'll be taking a nostalgic dive at the Flash games we grew up playing and ranking the top 10 best ones. Just for the viewers at home that don't have any experience with this genre, Flash games are free online games that are played through a web browser using the Flash Adobe Flash Player. We'll be judging the games on a 20 point rubric based on four categories, creativity, strategy, nostalgia, and entertainment value. Also, these games can earn an additional niche point if they hold a special trait. Without further delay, let's get into our top 10 spot. Our number 10 goes out to Cookie Clicker, a game we've all extensively played. Personally, I love this game. I remember <laughs> spending hours on it, grinding it on my family computer. Yeah. I agree, but after a while for me, this game just began to lose its touch. The achievements became repetitive and overall unenjoyable for me. True, yeah. Yeah, me too. I couldn't really stand playing more than like 30 minutes. I didn't think it was like that entertaining. I agree. Overall, it scores about a 7 out of 20 on the rubric, making it the lowest spot on the list. Next up, our number 9 spot goes to 2048. Personally, I loved this game growing up. I remember playing this game to train my brain, and I can remember all the multiples all the way up to 4096. Wow. I agree. There really was a short amount of time where everyone was on this game, and it yeah. helped me a lot. However, the game did not hold a lot of fun for me. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I think of games, I want to think of something I can turn my mind off to, not like academics. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I also feel like there was a lot of luck involved. And it was a little frustrating knowing that it was a never-ending game. Mm -hmm. Overall, this gets a 10 out of 20. Our number 8 spot goes out to the Run series on Cool Math. This one's a classic, and one all of us have played. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I believe that we all feel the same way about this game. Yeah. Run is a game that we believe is truly on the middle ground. It's the perfect amount of nostalgia, fun, strategy, and creativity. Mm -hmm. This amazing game earns an 11 out of 20. Mm -hmm. Up next is the game Sticky Ninja Academy. At my <laughs> elementary school, there was genuinely a time where it had a cult following. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember that too at Nelly Stokes. This game was perfect for a kid because it was addicting, fun, and action-packed. Exactly. It definitely had like action, but for me it was too easy. There was no real like oh, strategy God. and it was like really simplistic. <laughs> this game earns a 12 out of 20. Our number six spot goes to the Duck Life series, which is my favorite game on this list. It's definitely up there. It has a lot of freedom because there's no rush with the objectives, mm -hmm. yeah. and you can just kind of chill with your pet duck. I, I agree, but I'm gonna be honest, I just don't like this game. Oh, I find true. it super easy, and after you fully train your duck, there's really nothing else to do. Definitely not one of my favorites. This series earns a 13 out of 20 on our rubric. And bringing in the top half, we have another series, and number five is the Fireboy and Water Girl series. I have a lot of fond memories playing this game when I was growing up. This game definitely has a strategy factor. As I delve deep into the game, there are genuinely levels that I could not beat. Yeah. This game was extremely difficult, but for me, it lacked a little on the fun side. It felt really repetitive through all the levels. But other than that, we all can agree that the game is fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it earns a 14 out of 20 on our rubric. Yeah. At the number four spot are the IO games. There are hundreds of great IO games like Slitherio, Agario, and Splixio. Mm -hmm. And we have our first niche point on the list. Woo! IO gets a niche point for its enormous amount of content and variety with the games. Every game in this series is extremely unique and addicting in its own ways. For us, the IO series gets a fantastic score of 15 out of 20. On to the top three, the third on our list is the world's hardest game. They weren't lying when they say this is the world's hardest game. In <laughs> yeah. fact, this game also earns a niche point simply for its difficulty. We had to give it this point because even after countless hours, none of us could beat the game. Exactly. This game earns a reputable 16 out of 20, and I really hope that I could beat this game someday. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Second place gives my personal favorite, the Papa series. Now that I think about it, it was kind of our first experience at a job. Exactly. Yeah. This game was exhilarating and challenging. You had to find the right balance between all your stations while maintaining your customers, but succeeding in these challenges always felt the best. Definitely. This game earns a bonus point for its longevity. This series is probably over 10 Flash games and has now True. expanded into mobile game series. It's been active since our childhood. Mm -hmm. This series earns a impressive 17 out of 20. And finally, in first place, with a perfect score, Bloons Tower Defense. I've played the Flash games for a long, long time, and it's never really gotten old. This game also earns a niche point for its succession on mobile. They've not only implanted their success as one of the greatest Flash games of all time, but a commercial success on the App Store as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It was undisputed to us that this was the best game. And for this reason, it earns a 21 out of 20. With that said, that wraps up this week's episode. This list was created purely on our opinions, so let us know what games we missed out on or what games you disagree on. Thank, Thank you, you for, for tuning in to the flashback. flashback.